Hey, what's going on guys? Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be talking about the differences between the Rad Power Bikes, Rad Rover Plus, and don't forget Rad Power Bikes is probably the biggest name in e-bikes right now, and the Area Rider Kepler. So I'm just going to go over some of the differences, give you guys a quick idea of what each bike features as far as specs go, and I'll give you my overall impression. All right, so let's start with the most popular question, which is what is the top speed? The Rad Power Bikes Rad Rover Plus has a top speed of 25 miles per hour, and the Area Rider Kepler has a top speed of a whopping 35 miles per hour. So you get 10 miles per hour more as far as the top speed goes over the Rad Powered Rad Rover Plus. All right, we're moving on to the motors. The Rad Rover Plus features a 750 watt Rad Power motor, while the Area Rider Kepler features a 1000 watt Bafang motor. And this thing has a lot of torque, a lot of power, and you get that top speed of 35 miles per hour compared to the Rad Power Rad Rover Plus, which only gets 25 miles per hour. And the torque really isn't there either. So there's not too much torque on the Rad Power bikes, which honestly is pretty similar along all their models. They're not really known for power. All right, so we'll talk about what gives these bikes their juice. And what I mean by that is the battery. So the battery on the Rad Rover Plus is a 672 watt hour battery. You see it right there, it's pretty slim. And with the Area Rider Kepler, the battery comes in at a whopping 1,040 watt hour. That is almost twice the range. And not only that, this bike is a 52 volt. So that's where you're gonna get all the power, the torque, things like that. You will definitely feel the power of this bike. And the Rad Rover Plus is a 48 volt e-bike. So not as much power and not as efficient as the Aero Rider Kepler. All right, so moving on to the brakes. The braking system on the Rad Rover Plus is a nut braking system. It's very interesting. Uh, they work well, so nothing wrong with them, but it's an interesting choice for the brakes. While the Aero Rider Kepler features the best name in the game, with the Tektro braking system. And these brakes are really impressive. And that's one thing I wanna point out is Area Rider seems to go with all the best parts. Well, it seems like a lot of these brands, including the biggest name in e-bikes right now, is using things like nut brakes. So uh, just keep that in mind, all right? So you're getting all quality parts uh, with Area Rider. As far as the rear rack goes, the Rad Rover Plus does feature a rear rack you can get but it's a regular rear rack while the area rider kepler features this highly engineered heavy duty really great quality rear rack this thing can handle a lot look at how beefy it is it's a great rear rack to have all right so let's talk about pricing so the rad rover plus comes in at 19.99 so just under two thousand dollars and the area rider kepler even with all its quality components comes in at $17.99, so just under $1,800. And that's why I love the Area Rider e-bikes so much, is because you get so much quality for a really affordable price. And it's crazy that they beat out a brand like Rad Power. And don't get me wrong, Rad Power makes great bikes, but I'm telling you, this is the best bang for your buck. It just cannot be beat. So keep that in mind when you're looking, my choice, all day would be the Aerial Rider Kepler. If you have any questions regarding either of these bikes, please leave them in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. And until next time, peace out.